So this is going to be a different type of video as you can probably tell by the title of the video. And yes, I'm pregnant and I didn't think that for my 100th video I would be telling you that I'm pregnant. I literally would have never imagined it. First off, I cannot believe I've made 100 videos. Like, that blows my mind. I can't believe people have watched that many videos and have supported me and showed such love and friendship towards me. Sometimes I feel like I don't deserve any of it. So, I just want to thank you for always being there for me and always, you know, cheering me on. I feel so many emotions. I feel really excited. I feel extremely blessed to be able to have a little one and it's just so unreal. I think that's the best way I can explain it to you. It just feels so unreal and I am excited, I'm happy. Um, I did want to talk about my symptoms because I would hope that uh, I could help other women who are going to become pregnant or who are pregnant and are maybe going through the same symptoms as I am. Maybe I can be of some sort of help because I have not had an easy pregnancy, guys. I would be lying to you if I said it has been a piece of cake, a walk in the park. It has not been easy. It has been a struggle. Pretty much everything has happened to me. I faint at work, which is horrible. I think my body just, I don't really know how to explain it. Maybe I overwork my body because I don't really get a break. I help client after client after client and I don't stop. And I think that's like an issue. Um, I suffer from vomiting and nausea, which is the worst. I also am extremely tired all the time. I have shortness of breath, pretty much everything. And it has, like I said, been a struggle. So hopefully if you are planning to get pregnant and may have similar symptoms as I, or if you are pregnant and you are maybe still too early to know, hopefully I can help in some way, shape or form. And if you, already been pregnant hopefully you can help me and other ladies out there who are struggling with nausea vomiting fainting pretty much everything I'm gonna start off by talking about like my early pregnancy everything was fine I had no symptoms I felt like myself like I felt normal nothing was wrong uh, I could eat as much as I have been able to eat and I am a really small girl guys I weigh 98 pounds uh, when I first walked into the doctor's office that's how much I weighed and everything was fine until I got maybe to like 10 weeks I want to say I started to get super nauseous and super just sick like I felt sick and I felt sick to the point where I couldn't eat anything because everything that I would eat, I would want to vomit. Like everything was gross. Nothing was appealing to me. Like I was, I felt like I was starving, but if I would eat it, I would throw it up. So that wasn't very appealing. Basically all I could eat was fruit, like watermelon. I felt like that was pretty light on my stomach. But if I had anything too greasy or too heavy, like, oh my god, there was just no way I, I was going to hold that down in my stomach. So I actually started losing weight, which is actually pretty common for a lot of women who have nausea and vomiting in their pregnancy. So fruits helped me for like a little while, but like I said, I was feeling sick and 
I didn't want to take any medication while I was pregnant. I didn't want to take any pills or anything because I thought it was horrible for the baby. It got to the point where I wasn't eating and you have to really take it into consideration like is it better not to eat anything and not take any pills or is it better to take medication that's going to help you eat so both you and your baby you know have the, the right nutrients in you so you have to just like think about it and put things into perspective and that's what I did so my doctor prescribed me Sofran I believe that's how you say it and that helped tremendously it helped a lot the only thing was my insurance didn't cover it so I had to pay out of pocket but that is completely okay with me because it was the only relief that I had gotten for a little while it's like a little pill that you put in your tongue and it just dissolves on its own and that helped me so much guys and I recommend it if you are nauseous vomiting I'm not a doctor or anything but literally it made a difference for me so another thing that I have been struggling with is coffee and all of that now I feel like now I've gone through the whole detox but I used to have like three cups of coffee a day and I'm a huge fan of sweet tea and sweet tea has caffeine basically it's been really hard for me because I used to have you know three cups of coffee a day and now I'm having none it's like black and white it is night and day it is so different and I feel like I'm not myself I know that sounds so weird but I just feel like I'm in someone else's body I feel like it's just so different and I've also had I have also been having like stomach problems like I find it this might be TMI but I just want this to be helpful I'm finding it really hard to go to the bathroom and I've never ever had that issue in the past before and it sucks it feels like I feel like is it really this horrible to be pregnant like it's just been a struggle for me and I if you have any tips or any advice any recommendations suggestions leave them below because you are always very helpful and I am just so glad that I have an amazing support system because if it weren't for them Honestly guys, I don't think that I would be getting through this because it is tough. But I have an amazing boyfriend and an amazing family, so I don't want to get emotional, but they have been so supportive and it's so helpful. So how far along am I? I am 15 weeks. Pregnant, so my due date is in December which if you know I'm a big fan of Christmas and I love anything Christmas so that's kind of ironic I found out I was pregnant I think the same day my grandmother passed away last year so that was that was kind of ironic too at least I thought so um, I thought it was kind of like a gift from her because she would always tell me you have to have a lot of kids if you don't know my grandmother had 23 kids and she would always tell me you know that I was already supposed to have kids and she started when she was very young but I didn't expect it to be this difficult right now I feel fine as long as I'm not um, overworking my body I feel fine as long as I'm eating snacks throughout the day I feel fine drinking a lot of water is extremely important especially with this heat because it is so hot where I live that if you don't drink water it's not good 
So if I've been acting a little bit off, now you know why I've been acting that way. Uh, it's just been so different for me and I'm still kind of getting used to it, getting used to my body changing and all of that. It's been quite the journey. So I don't really know what to expect anymore. I'm extremely fearful for labor. Like I know it's like the worst pain in the world. So we'll see how that goes. If I'm going through a hard time right now, I can only imagine it's gonna get worse. But um, I feel like it'll be worth it. Like the little munchkin will be worth it. I feel like it's a boy. I don't know yet, but I feel like it's a boy. And I really want a girl. But as long as the baby's healthy, what more can you ask for? And yeah, that's basically it. I'm I'm so excited. It's gonna be like a new journey that I've never been through. Like I just hope that I can be at least 50% like my mom. Like I know I will never be like her because she's so amazing. Yeah, I've been really struggling with the whole food situation because I don't want to be anything that's bad. I heard deli meat is really bad, so I try to stay away from all of that. I just want to avoid all of it. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of spaghetti and meatballs. Um, what else do I eat? I like, I like vegetables. Surprisingly enough, I've always loved vegetables. Uh, right now, I cannot stand eggs. I've been craving hash browns with Cholula like every day of my life. Um, I like French toast. Um, I love fruit. Fruit is everything. And I don't know, I just try to stay away from like the bad stuff like fast food. I'm trying to be as like healthy as possible. Like my mom makes me a lot of food. Um, she always brings me food because she is amazing, like I said, whole support system. I'm hanging in there, but if you have any tips or advice, like I said earlier, leave it below. I wanted to share this with you because I think that you deserve it. I feel like you guys are like my friends and I don't know, I feel like I've been keeping it away from you guys long enough. So I hope you're excited. It's going to be a new journey and I look forward to sharing with you. Um, and if you want me to do like update videos, I would be more than happy to. But for now, that is all guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.